know, I was 23 years old and uh, just some injuries happened, uh, some failures, I guess, and I uh, really struggled with that. It became a daily, hourly thing, no matter what I was doing, I needed alcohol. At one point I said, like, if, if I could leave me, I would. And in 2021, I hit that bottom. This is, this is where I got dropped off the, the first time in 2019. This is what I walked into. When Brady walked through our front door, he was a skeleton. Uh, he was a, a fractured, uh, broken man. He was defeated. This is where it all started for me, just admitting that I had a problem and being willing to, to do something about it. The last time I came here, I checked in and I, the first night I laid in this bed, uh, I just had a feeling of like, kind of relief. Uh, and I was in a place that I could regroup and uh, start to rebuild a life. I mean, I spent a lot of time just right there by the side of the bed on my knees, uh, praying to. At that time, I didn't know what, you know, I didn't, I didn't know if it was God or what, but I spent a lot of time just asking to, to help me, you know, help me to get this right. I didn't want to go back to that way of life anymore. He had this grit and determination about him that made him kind of stand out from the rest of the group. He starts to remember like, oh, this is who I used to be. And, and he starts to remember who he used to be. He starts to, to find and, and find his true self again. Towards the end of 21, I just started wanting to ride bulls again, like it came back to me. So I left the inpatient treatment center in June 2021. And in May 2022, I won the first round of the PBR Finals. Brady Olson begins the 2022 World Finals in the number one spot. And that was a huge moment for me uh, because it, it was hard all year to kind of bring my sober, uh, newly sober lifestyle into an old environment that I wasn't sober in previously. It is a career high at this level. My name is Brady and I'm an alcoholic. Brady. I can't believe what my life has turned into today. Like, the person I am today is far from who I was. When I look at Brady and I see the guy who came in the door and the guy who's standing on the stage in either a team championship or a PBR final win, um, I can hold that light for the guys that come in the door. I just hope that you guys can stick around and experience it too, because. I know that great things will happen for you too. The guys in the PBR locker room, they, they care about my sobriety too. They might catch me when I'm down and saying, oh, like, you know, I kind of want to go back to the old ways. And, and they, they say, no, you don't. Like, you're not doing that tonight and all of me around. You're not. I'm an alcoholic. And at the end of the day, that's really all I am. It is a win to, to be living the life I am. Some days that's got to be good enough you know I always want to win love to do well but at the end of the day if I stay sober that's that's the win Coop look I mean right you've been in the locker room with this young man I mean you guys all know let's call them secrets about each other but I, I just want to say that the bravery for him now to share this with the world is definitely going to help others absolutely and just the amount of respect that everybody has for each other in that locker room and you know it's just it's so great of him to just be able to open up and, yeah. and tell his story and you know everybody's got a total amount of respect for him and uh and, and proud to know him well you know the other thing right that, that he said towards the end of the piece that i think also speaks a lot about you and the locker room is that you all really do have each other's backs. Really do, and you know it's it's a, a, a game of inches for everybody. And uh, but the thing is, everybody's got every each other's back, and uh, really wants the best for for each other. At the in the end.